So Dendry is an amazing demonstration of the concept of happiness and how when we become content with something, when we become used to it, the things that made, once made us happy now just become the baseline. Things that we would work towards, that we would spend hours like chasing, now they just become mundane. They're no longer satisfying. They're no longer exciting. They no longer make us happy. They just are what we are. Although we would be sad if we no longer had them, we don't feel elated to have them. Hello and welcome. I am the Anonymous Weeb and welcome to this video about happiness in Chainsaw Man. So what exactly is happiness? Well, it's that feeling you get when you either accomplish something you were looking forward to, you get gifts that you wanted, when you just do something that makes your body well up with joy. People get that, doesn't they? Hmm. Now, have you ever found that if you keep having something that makes you happy, it doesn't anymore? Or rather, it doesn't make you as happy. Let's say you have your favourite meal every day for a month. Well, at the end of that month, you just don't really like it anymore. Or, not necessarily you don't like it, it's just become mundane. Well, we are told familiarity breeds contempt. And that seems to be what's going on with Denji to an extent in the latest chapters of Chainsaw Man. He's become too used to his new life. His new standard of normal is what his old life would have considered heavenly. And I've seen some people become annoyed with that. Annoyed with Denji forgetting where he came from. Or who he was as a person, or not growing as a person. When in reality, Fujimoto's done it really well to the point that you can see Denji's growth as a person. Back at the start of Chainsaw Man, he wasn't being treated as a person. And thus, being treated as a person gave him massive respect for them. Massive respect joy from just the simple things of having jam on toast but now that he's been treated as a person he's grown he's grown to expect that which yes in some ways is him leaving his past behind in others it's coming to embrace that he has more worth than that now he's chasing a greater high for Denji, happiness and joy is a drug. And I suppose that's fair to say about everyone, really, both in Chainsaw Man and in our world. Happiness is a drug that we chase because we all want to be happy. But like every drug, it eventually simmers down and you need more and more and more to get the same high. And that's exactly what Denji's problem is currently. He's not content with his happiness. He's chasing a happiness like the one he had back with Aki and Power. And yes, you could say he's achieved that kind of happiness with Neyuta, but it doesn't feel the same. It doesn't feel like he's enjoying himself he's not laughing denji doesn't really seem to be laughing this series and he's just seems depressed to me which if there are people that out there that have actual medical depression do tell me do you see a bit of yourself in denji constant shifting between whether you're happy or sad and chasing things that once made you happy but no longer really do but of course denji isn't the only person in the series that exemplifies this we have fujimoto's other characters to look at for instance kabeni kabeni <laughs> well 
We see her happy at very few times in part one. But at those points in time, she is on a massive high. However, when she's living what would be considered a normal life, something that she would have been happy with at the start of part one, because then she just wouldn't be dying. <laughs> she's not happy with it. She's not happy with partying a normal life. And that's fine. And you've also got Kishibe, who we see in a little strip in part one about his past. He goes from a rather happy, excitable individual to the broken mess that he is now. Kind of how Denji is, honestly. I wonder if that's almost a projection of Denji's future. Hmm. Kishibe did say Denji was the only one fit to be a devil hunter. Or the, rather the best suited for it. Ha. Huh. I do hope Denji doesn't become a broken mess of a man like Kishibe. Although, he is kind of cool. Either way, why don't you tell me what you think about Denji's happiness? And if he'll ever find a stable level of joy for him to just rest on. Whether that be because of Neyuta, because of something else, something that none of us could even predict. Maybe he just needs to get a girlfriend. Anyway... I've been the Anonymous Weeb. I wish you a good day or night, wherever you are. Bye.